Thank you for another episode. Welcome to another episode. It's my pleasure being here. Do you have any question you want us to deliberate on as a student or as a parent? Please comment below this video. We will look at that topic and be able to um, discuss it. Today we are going to look at a topic how to handle a sexually active teen. How to handle a sexually active teen. As a parent, you discover that your child, your teenager, is already sexually active. How do you handle such situation? You know, the initial time you get to know this, you are shattered. You go into panic. You are disturbed. You look like a failure. That's the first thing that comes to your mind. But no matter how many worries we go through, it can never change the situation. Have that in mind. And so, the next thing you have to think about is, what are possible solutions to this problem? How do I handle this pro problem? The deed is already done. There's nothing you can do about it. You cannot turn back the hands of time. You cannot change it. So what do you do? We're going to discuss a number of points here. We will discuss at least five or six points on how to handle this situation. First, if you have a partner, talk with your partner. Tell him what is up. If it is the mother that got the information or gets to know about it, tell the father. If it is the father, tell the mother. Then discuss it as a family. Discuss it as a team and see what and what can be done. Then secondly, pick a good time to talk about it. If it is the both of you that will talk about it, okay, but most times we suggest that one of the partners talk about it is for if it is a female gender the mother should go if it is a female gender the father should go but if you as a parent have good communication with this child the two of you can go okay so pick a conducive time and discuss time and place to discuss and don't just start yelling and shouting, that will not solve the problem, no. The third one is, ask questions, listen to the child, ask the child how did it happen. You know some of these things, they are lured by peers, they are lured by individuals. Ask them how did it happen. Their answer gives you an insight on how to handle the situation. Ask them how do they come into this situation? What is their motive? Who drives them into such situation? And then listen to them attentively without interruption. Most times we are just quick to start shouting, yelling, beating. It doesn't change it. Get that. The earlier we know that, the better for us because if you start beating them, they revolt, they become the worst. Then, ask probing questions. The third one, remember first, talk with your partner. If you have a partner, if you're a single parent, go alone. If you have a partner, talk with your partner, uh, pick a good time to converse. Then, totally listen as the child talks. Then, the fourth one is ask probing questions. As you have listened, Look at questions you can ask to reach the child's heart on how the whole situation started. Right? Then such question can be what is a, what is it about this person that you like that you started this journey with? You can ask what is your relationship with this same person? Do you still have the same cordial relationship? Um, how are you protecting yourself against STDs, teenage pregnancy? other health challenging uh, situation, emotional trauma that will come 
on the way ask probing question like this all right then look at another area you will have to look at after you have asked this probing question stand your ground tell the child this is not my option for you i stand in the side of abstinence at this child at this stage you are not supposed to be sexually active so you're being sexually active I am not of that opinion. Tell the child what it stands for. Tell the child that you do not suppose that venture he has or she has gotten himself or herself into. Let him know why you have stand on that ground. Let him know the problems that lays ahead. Let him know the consequences he will suffer or she will suffer if he continues on that trend. Okay? Then, after you have told him your stance and you have let the child know that, look, at the long run, this thing has an effect on you as a teenager. At the long run, even if it comes as a rumor, or it comes as a truthful story at once, know that the world has this story in their hands. And at the later part of your life, they may haunt you or hurt you. Then let them know that at this stage, you are not sexually ready, financially ready, mentally ready, emotionally ready. If you can stay off it, it will be good. Then evaluate that point why the child has gotten into what he got himself or herself into. That is the last stage, set boundaries. If there are boundaries you can set to help this child set those boundaries. Know your child's friends. Even if it is friends that have lured your child into that act, set boundaries for the kind of friends you want in your home and the kind of friends that will help her. Then, if it is being too close with your opposite sex, let him know how close is too close. Set boundaries. So set boundaries for the child. If it is late night that the child keeps or on wholesome party the child goes to that push the child to search, set boundaries on parties you don't want in your home. By the time you set boundaries, it serves as a protective hedge around the child. That will help the child. If it is a child that is open to change, the child will change. Let the child know that no matter what, he or she can get out of it. Let him know the principle of self-control because right now you are already sexually active. So you need self-control to put your body in check. Preach self-control for the child. Preach abstinence for the child. Tell the child your stance. So let's run through the points again that will help you. We want to talk with your partner. Discuss strategy and areas you want to help the child with. And two, um, try as much as possible to um, pick a time and a place that will be conducive for you and the child. Then three, Make sure that you listen carefully to the child without interruption and without yelling and beating. No matter how bad it is, pay attention. Then four, um, talk about the risk involved, your stand, the risk that will be involved in the child doing what he's doing. Then after talking about the risk, Tell the child your stand. Then after telling the child your stand, set boundaries that will protect the child based on the information he has given to you or she has given to you while telling you all that happened. Remember, communication is a skill. Be your child's friend. Have an open communication. Be an open parent. Don't yell and start beating. Please control yourself. Put self-control to them. Which abstinence today. Tell them the responsibility and the penalty that they stand to see if they continue on that path. So this is it. Remember the topic we discussed today what is how to handle sexually active teen. So if you discover your teen is already sexually active, follow this step. You will succeed. Remember that our team, our priority, will grow up with better adults.